Hello there and welcome to Travels with Jordy in another episode of My Thoughts On. This week my thoughts are on this pretty snazzy lithium iron phosphate battery. The folks at EcoFlow were kind enough to send this along and it's particularly timely for me because it's marketed as a trolling motor battery and for those of you who know I push the dinghy around with a trolling motor and for the last decade or so a clunky old uh, 12 volt uh, lead acid battery. Now the advantages to lithium are many and most of you will know that and the lithium generation of batteries is just exploding in the last little while and many of them are in this group 27 form factor and there's lots and lots of batteries out there to choose from. I think this is a particularly nice one for a bunch of reasons that I'll get into, but general opinions about moving to lithium and is it time? Is it the right time to do it? Well, price has always been the hold off for me at least. And well, this battery is priced at $269 US, which I find very, very competitive. That's getting down into the realm of a good uh, AGM lead acid battery. And the other thing is that it is ridiculously light, um, which of course is one of the major selling points to lithium iron phosphate batteries. It's 100 amp hour, which is tons of power. This is good for 100% voltage right down to almost drained. Anyway, we won't get into too many of the specs right now, but the truth is I really, really love it. Let's say we get into some real world testing and get this thing in the dinghy. First off, out comes the beastly lead acid to be replaced with, yes indeed, painless. in the group 27 form factor at 12 volts and 100 amp hour capacity. There are actually two versions and I'll get into it in a minute but this version is at 150 amps continuous output with burst at 300 amps for 30 seconds and weighing in at a light 24.7 pounds. I must say it's been an absolute joy these last few days zipping around the bay with this little battery. Never have to worry about if it'll go flat. The battery features a very impressive 6,000 cycles, which puts it way ahead of its competitors in its price class. And they consider that a 10 year lifespan, giving an actual over the life of the battery cost of 3 cents per kilowatt hour. Interesting way of looking at it. The BMS is good for 100 amps and you can charge this uh, battery up to 50 amps. Let's have a look at current draw. We're currently wide open with a 46 pound thrust um, trolling motor and we're drawing 34 amps. Well that is very very close to a three hour range with this battery and that wow that's just amazing. You can go a long ways in three hours at this speed. Another impressive feature of the battery is its expansion opportunities. If you need more voltage or more capacity, it supports up to eight parallel connections or four series connections or a combination of four series and four parallel connections, achieving up to 48 volts at 20 kilowatt hours. Not all batteries in this class will do that. Also impressive is the slew of safety features built into the BMS, including over discharge, overcharge, high temperature, short circuit, and overcurrent. It also includes the all important and not always present low temperature charge cutoff. It has an IP65 water ingress certification as well as a UL5VA fire resistance certification. It also includes something they call cell to chassis process which is an enhanced structure uh, between the cells and the case which improves drop resistance and other structural elements of the battery. Lots of impressive stuff here. well established in the power systems market with a wide variety of power stations and other associated equipment. It's only natural, I suppose, that they got around to building a dedicated battery.
As mentioned earlier, this EcoFlow battery comes in two variants. The trolling motor version, which is one they sent me, which has a 300 amp burst capacity for 30 seconds and 150 amps continuous. That would actually work as a start battery for most applications. But it also comes in what they call the RV version, which is limited to 100 amps continuous draw and no rating for burst. And that small sacrifice will save you a few dollars. All in all, I think this is a fabulous battery. It's half the weight of a lead acid battery, and unlike a lead acid battery, it can be drained almost down to its full capacity, which you can really only go about halfway with a lead acid battery with, before you're causing it some damage. And another neat thing about it, as you drain it down, it still stays at full voltage all the way. Again, can't do that with a lead acid battery. It's good for 6,000 cycles, which is like a, just an absurd number to me. Um, that will last a very, very long time. And you can charge it at a much higher current, therefore much quicker than a lead acid battery. So at this price point, it was definitely time for me to switch and I'll probably get some more. Anyway, if you'd like one, um, either in the trolling motor variant or the RV version, uh, which again is slightly cheaper, um, EcoFlow have kindly um, included us all in their launch sale and there's a coupon down below uh, that you can take advantage of. Anyway, I like it. I hope you'll like it too.